Hello again, this is Father Vasily Tudora, and today we're going to look over the structure of the bridegroom matins, which are served generally in the evenings of the days of Holy Week, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. They follow the same structure, that is, of a Lenten matins service. So the service starts with, Blessed is our God, and then after this we start reciting the Trisagion prayers, O Heavenly King Comforter, Holy God, Holy Mighty, all Holy Trinity have mercy on us, our Father. After this, the priest, uh, or the actually the chanter, starts reading the royal psalms. These psalms are generally read in parishes only during Holy Week, although in monasteries they are read throughout the year. During this time, the priest makes a censing of the congregation with a small censer that is called the katsion, the hand censer, not the one that is hanging with chains and bells. After this, the priest comes back into the altar and recites a thrice litany. After this litany, we start reading the six psalms of the Exapsalmos. And so the, the six psalms are chosen psalms that are read at every Orthro service. And it's a very solemn reading. During this time, we are not sitting, we are standing. And we are thinking that this represents the final judgment according to tradition. So during this time, the lights are dimmed almost to complete darkness and the priest reads the prayers silently in front of the closed holy doors to symbolize the falling into darkness of the entire world and Adam praying in front of the closed doors of paradise. So there is some kind of a powerful um, imagery here through the Tipicon. After the reading of the six Psalms, the deacon starts intoning the litany of peace. And this is where the lights start coming, you know, higher and higher in intensity in, in the church. So, in peace let us pray to the Lord, and we answer with, Lord have mercy. After this first set of, uh, uh, of, of petitions, we are starting to sing the Alleluias that are specific for this service. Now, usually during a regular matins during the year, we're going to sing here, God is the Lord with the troparia. But during Lent, and especially during Holy Week, we are singing the Alleluias with a special melody, and the troparion is Behold the Bridegroom. And you probably remember this melody. <speaking in Spanish> and so forth. And we, of course, with the verses in between them. The troparion you also recognized. Behold, the bridegroom is coming in the middle of the night. And so after, uh, during the, during the, chanting of this troparion, the priest comes out with the icon of the bridegroom and puts it for veneration in the middle of the church so everybody can come and, uh, and, and kiss it, uh, honoring the, the bridegroom Christ. Immediately after that, there's going to be a small petition intoned by the deacon or by the priest, and then we start what we call the kathismata. We have three kathisma, uh, kathismata, um, and uh, those are actually remnants from the reading of the appropriate portions from the Psalter, which are the Psalms of David from the Old Testament. Those are still read in monasteries. Three portions are assigned uh, on these matins. But in the parishes, we only do the hymns that are sung in between them. So we're going to have the first Kathisma, the second, and the third. After the third follows the reading of the Gospel. Each of the matin services, they have a Gospel. Being a Lenten service, after the Gospel, the Psalm 50 is not uh, chanted, but is only read. Okay. After this, we start the canons. The canons are short stanzas that usually correspond with the theme of the feast based on hymns from the Old Testament. And they are usually chanted on a faster pace, because in monasteries they actually repeat it. 
Let us sing to the Lord who dried up the impossible, surging waters of the sea by his divine command, and who also led the way, and, and so forth. The last one of them is going to be chanted a little slower. It's the same hymn, but is chanted again slowly. Let us sing to the Lord who dried up the impossible surging. So you see the same one, but, but slower. After each of the odes, we have three odes of the canons. And that's why we have the name Triodion. We have only three odes, not usually nine as we have outside of Lent. After the first of those odes, the deacons intones the small petition. After the small, the, the small petition, Condacion, the Icos, and the Synaxarion. In the Synaxarion, we're going to commemorate the saints of the day and also the theme of that particular bridegroom service. For instance, on the Great and Holy Monday, we commemorate Blessed Joseph the Handsome and also the fig tree. These commemorations are based on the readings from the Old and the New Testament that are usually uh, read during this time. After this, we sing the Ode number 8 of the canon, and then we announce the Theotokos and the Ninth Ode. The deacon says in front of the holy table, let us honor and magnify in songs the Theotokos and Mother of the Light. And then he starts sensing the congregation. After this, again a small petition, and then we get to what we call the Exapostilaria hymns. And you're going to recognize this very easily. No, no. Oh, my Savior, now I see your wedding hall decorated. You probably recognize this. Then we start the praises or the lauds, which have a first part, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And after this, verses with stanzas related with the particular celebration that uh, we are commemorating on that bridegroom service. Now, since this is a Lenten matins, after the set of petitions that follow the praises, we're going to have what we call the Apostiha, which is another set of hymns related with the theme of the service. After this, we're almost done. We read again the Trisagion prayers, then a Condacion, and the priest reads the prayer, O heavenly king, uphold our rulers, strengthen the faith, calm the nations, and so forth. Then we do the prayer of Saint Ephraim, O Lord and Master of my life, with the proper prostrations that are done at this time. And then after this, the dismissal, and that is pretty much it with the service of the bridegroom. Now this service is repeated on Monday night and Tuesday night. So Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. The other services follow on Wednesday night, Thursday, and Friday follow a similar ortho structure, but as you will see in the next tutorials, they are a little bit more complicated with a, a lot of things added based on the different things that are happening throughout the Holy Week. So, until next time, God bless you all.